late 50s about this thing out there in space because the astronomers were all watching it, and that was back when they weren't afraid to talk about it. It was in the science magazines. I mean, I had a subscription to, like, Popular Science and Health. It was on the front cover of the magazine one day in, like, 1961. And uh, I was really excited when I saw it because here's this giant red planet on the horizon uh, of the California coast and a humongous tidal wave coming in towards the coast and having grew up in the mountains of uh, the Sierras and this thing in the magazine, it said this tidal wave coming in was going to be at least three miles high. And I went and showed it to everybody in the house and they laughed and they said, look, it says right here, there's nothing to worry about. It won't be here for another 50 years. Hey, guess what? That 50 years has came and gone. And uh, this baby's out there in the sky. They've been watching it. I watched it. And I can tell you, this thing has got so much trash coming around it. You know how we live in a solar system? We've got nine planets and a big sun. This right. thing has got seven We're planets. about to have a solar system come through the middle of our solar system. This can't be good. Another big story tonight, it is raining in the east from Florida to upstate New York. This follows a system that brought floods this week to at least nine states in the Midwest and the Deep South. Rivers rose to record levels in Missouri, Illinois, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, where residents are assessing the damage. Tonight, parts of southern Missouri seen towns entirely underwater. Wow, this is my bank. Another round of storms bringing more heavy rain to the flood-soaked region. The road's gone. These before and after pictures show the extent of the record flooding in Missouri. Soggy weather has wreaked havoc elsewhere, too. In Pocahontas, Arkansas, a levee break early this morning, leading to a flash flood emergency. This town of 6,400 told to seek higher ground. Oh my God, oh my God. And southern Louisiana pounded by heavy rain today and dangerous hail. This is just some more of the very sad devastation out here. In southeast Colorado, seven foot high snowdrifts buried cattle over the weekend. The number of deaths are adding up as the snow melts. And toppled acre after acre of wheat crop. You can just see it smashed down to the ground. A third of rancher Justin Wilhite's cattle died in the storm which dumped up to 30 inches of snow in Prowers and Baca counties. The devastation is being compared to the blizzard of 2007, one of the worst snowstorms in Colorado history. Society believes last night's bad weather might be forced to flock lower to the ground, and they say bright building lights can disorient the birds. The combination that caused the feathered creatures to take their final flight right into this 23-story tower.
Thousands of Canadians are struggling to save their homes tonight. The extent of the flooding in parts of eastern Canada is worse than anyone expected. In the nation's capital, the Ottawa River is raging right behind Parliament Hill. The water is so dangerously close to bridges that civil servants who commute to work over them were told to stay home. In Quebec, rivers have engulfed towns. Rescuers are searching for a father and child washed away in a car. 146 Quebec municipalities are affected, states of emergency are in place, and the Army has been called in to help. Nearly 3,000 homes are affected across Quebec and Ontario. In Oka, the city hall is flooded and the town's pumping station is no longer working. 3,000 residents could soon be forced to leave. In Laval, at least 150 homes now have water damage. And in Pierrefonds, 175 homes are now flooded because last night three dikes were washed out after the water rose by another 10 centimeters. The now familiar refrain here is once again, we've never seen anything like it. Several towns have now declared a state of emergency and for the first time since the ice storm, now the mayor of Montreal has as well, meaning officials can now force flood victims to leave their homes. Thousands of acres of forest burn in a wildfire on the Florida-Georgia line. Crews are fighting the flames from the ground and in the air. A lightning strike sparked the fire in early April. Now dozens of families are evacuating as the flames get dangerously close to their homes. We now have Tropical Storm Adrian. This is the earliest Eastern Pacific storm, and it's the first one of the season, which, by the way, begins May 15th. Now, the last time we saw an early storm was back in 1990, and that was Alma. So this is breaking all sorts of records, and we could even see it break one more because this is likely to become a hurricane overnight Thursday. So this would be the earliest hurricane we've had on record. Eight people have died in more more than 20 were injured after an earthquake hit China's Xinjiang region. The magnitude 5.5 quake shook a town near the border with Tajikistan. It was followed by a five, magnitude 5 aftershock. More than 180 houses collapsed. Rescue workers are checking the buildings for survivors. Spring runoff encompassing the valley. Record snowfall. Melting into 360 degree views of waterfalls with a capacity now the strongest in years.
سيول جارفه يا رجال سيول جارفه ما شاء الله تبارك الله <تصفيق> I saw him a long time ago. Bye bye, Nag. Scare me, that guy.
chaotic scenes as residents are pulled to safety from flooded homes in Sri Lanka on Monday as the death toll from the rampant flooding climbs above 150. It's the worst natural disaster the country has seen in more than a decade. Nearly half a million people have been displaced from their homes and over a hundred are still missing.